The focus is kind of going in and out. What's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in today to Outdoor Roads. I am Matt Rhodes and today we're going to go over the Buzzard Roost saddle and how I have it set up for my hunting situation this season and why I chose the Buzzard Roost saddle. Stay tuned guys, giveaway at the end of the video. That's a pretty good track right there, I'd say so myself. Let's go find a tree. And uh, I'm probably gonna mark this location, but I'm gonna be a little noisy today, so I'm good thing I'm doing this way before hunting season. <laughs> it's in a different spot where I don't hunt. I haven't really scouted this spot, but I uh, figured I'd come in here away from my spot because I'm getting bucks on camera and I would uh, film in here. So there's tracks like everywhere though, and they're fresh too, right after the rain. And it rained like yesterday, so. It's rained for like the past week, so that's a good sign. So I might have to go grab a camera and move it. But let's uh, check it out. Got a nice little shade spot right here for lighting, and let's do some filming. All right, now that I got the tree kind of set up to where I can do the video, it's a little more complicated from the ground. I can tell you why. It's a lot easier on my sticks. I got a system, but on the ground, it's a little bit harder. But what I like about the buzzer reason why I changed is uh, it's got completely two pieces like they're completely separate so you can adjust the top if you're getting a little bit more pressure in your hip you can adjust the bottom for different pressure I really like that part about it um, but the main thing is is I have like some hip issues and uh, tighten my belt a little bit but I had some hip issues and being able to move this top strap it it just gets rid of the hip issues it makes you feel like you're like in a bucket seat pretty much just sitting up in there and I'll get a close up and show you guys that when it's up once I'm in the tree and on the stand you got your leg your leg straps and the cool thing about the leg straps is they come across is they come across like super low so there's no pinching so it's comfortable all day long all day set i added this little rubber band here um so when i tie it tight i usually you just pack it in here but I'll, I'll rubber band it around here because in case you hit a limb and it pulls it out so it keeps it nice and tight and up here against you if you want to keep it the same length and just fold it up and do that you can but i'll usually just do this and i'll fold this bunch this up just like so, and the stretcher, and then just stretch it around. Usually this is after a hunt, so it's already like this, so when I get in the tree in the system, I don't have to struggle with tucking it in. It's already there. Once you do it a few times though, you get used to it. Easy peasy, just a little, little tip and trick. But, uh, it's super comfy. Let's get in the tree. I already had this adjusted from before. I thought I was recording, but I didn't. Um, what I like to do is once you get pressure, you reach back here and you unbuckle the buckles. And then uh, you're gonna use your thumb things here. You're gonna pull this down. And then while you still have pressure, you're gonna pull this up to right where it feels real comfortable. Once you feel that, when you get that comfy spot, you're gonna loosen the straps, clip it back in, back here, and then you're going to uh, pull down nice and tight and snug. So when, you, when you're when you grabbing something, it doesn't fall. It all stays together, so right when you set back down, it's already in that comfy spot. You don't have to readjust. So that's one nice tip, one nice thing I like about it. You can really adjust here and get your pressure points with the two different saddles. Like if I feel a lot of pressure here, I can move this up and easily move it up with one hand. And then I feel that pressure difference. That's nice and even now. You can set for a while. 
just put a knee, proper knee, get some knee pads or whatever. A lot of people use padding. I like to run this down through this hole so it runs like straight down the body and just barely hangs off. A little extra, I like to say, structure or break up your silhouette. A lot of people ask me on these channel demos, like they, they'll, they're scared they're gonna fall asleep and just turn over. You don't have to worry about that. There's a lot of videos out there showing people turning over in the saddles. But one tip I like to do when I take a nap in a tree is I'll turn sideways. Tuck this arm between the tree and your bridge and let it pinch. And then you can just literally sit here and take a nap. If you fall, if you wake up and you fall back, you're just gonna be like, and your arm and this being pinched against it, it's gonna catch you. You're not even gonna get close. It's like reclining. So that's one safety. One little tip. Another little tip I like, guys, is uh, I get a lot of questions of how do you pee out of a saddle? And I've done a video before, but it's really simple. You just plant one foot right here sideways. You stick the other foot out, and uh, if you have a bottle, you know you can do what you need to do. And you're away from all your gear. You're not peeing on the tree. I don't use a bottle. I just pee straight on the ground. I've seen deer smell it and just keep going like it it kind of actually interests them a little bit of the smell i don't think the pee gives like the human scent it just gives like this this odor this year urine odor i don't know but they go to smell it and it, i've seen deer smell it like right under me so i just pee right off the stand never had an issue in florida it kind of evaporates i think a little quicker too with the sun and the heat but I don't know if those tips help. Maybe they'll help somebody out there. So leg straps, I like the leg straps. They don't pinch and uh, they're really comfy. A lot of people don't use them. I might go without using them a little bit because they do slightly get in the way of my pocket. So if you have a, a pants with a low pocket so you can reach in and get your phone. I like to sometimes film my phone just out of my pocket. I do have a camera arm and I'll put it as low as possible it evens out about right here in this nice gap the biggest gap to swing around well if you get swinging around here and you can't swing then you're kind of trying to move around you're moving too much so you want it, the camera to swing here when you're practicing your, your setup that's what you want to do and i have my gopro here this is the gopro hero 9 and i have it on 4k 30 and super view right now you can change the view to go down. Um, I like to bring it down sometimes when I'm doing more interviews and using my camera, but if I'm not using my camera and want to get the shot, I'll switch it to super view so you can get a lot of the surrounding area. You're not, it's not gonna be able to zoom in good for the kill shot, but it'll still get what's going on for the interview. Um, I hope this helps with some camera tips for you guys, but let's get back to the saddle. I mean, it's a simple setup. I got one bag on this side. This bag's from uh, from Wood Saddles, I think. They make these super long bags. I can put two ropes in here pretty easy. My ropes are pretty thick and stiff, so they fit nice and good. I got another bag on the other side for my hanger. And, uh, and I got my gear hoist. This thing is the best thing ever. I usually, once, once you get your bow up, you know, you can undo it. You can just put it right back super simple I like to keep everything simple and easy some of my stuff does weigh a little more because I got camera gear in my bag and stuff but I can deal with that but I'll keep this video short for you guys I hope these quick little tips and I hope you guys enjoy your buzzer group saddle as much as I do I've been hanging in this thing through saddle demos I hang through it all day I hang on other saddles all day long and this one just always gets me and makes me feel comfy in it so I like I just like sitting in it it's just real nice I'll wear it around the house just to wear it in a little bit another thing that really attracted me to buzzard roost wasn't just the comfortability it was our morals and everything's in the right spot we everything that I want in hunting is what they want in hunting and I don't, it's, they're just easy to talk to and they understand every situation so if you have issues they understand a lot of situations now if you look at their 
website and you see the buzzers and you want any anything special put it in your notes on your order and I'm sure that they'll do what they can to um, to get that done to what your your standards are like I've seen someone with pink I know the ladies like the pink so I've seen someone with pink out there I've seen um, molly straps on the bottom too which I like the molly straps on the bottom but I'm starting to get used to them on the top so it's not a big deal for me anymore but molly straps on the bottom is a big plus I'm pretty sure all the new buzzer roosts are going to be coming out with those with the molly straps on the bottom but I mean easily just put it in your notes on your order and make sure you guys use code SPP10 right here SPP10 make sure y'all use that code um, southern podcast they really support me and I like to support them back that, that helps them out and get noticed a little bit and helps them all their work and their hard work for these try before you buy saddle demos that they put in just to show that what they're doing is working One other tip guys is I will pull these straps when I have my backpack on super tight to get it up out the way pushing down on my saddle while I'm walking and that helps too with my steps that I put over my shoulder um, get out the way too so it makes everything comfortable when you're walking in when you feel when I'm walking with your saddle on and nothing's pushing down you're not tripping on anything it makes you nice and compact so you're not hitting on crazy limbs it just just works so this is my system and I hope it helps you guys out just make sure you pull that backpack all the way up I'm gonna show you two ways to get into this saddle one way is to step through the other is over the head and I'm starting to like that way when a lot of people you get older you get bad backs it's hard to kind of bend over or step through that the over the head is actually really nice or if you're in the swamp and you're all soaking wet and blow and you you don't want to get swamp stuff. I, I like stepping through to me because I get this nice wet dirt in the morning on it. So you get that nice um, earth smell, dirt <laughs> smell on your saddle. It gets pretty dirty that way, but I, I kind of like it. But I'm going to show you both ways right here. And I've got this loaded down with gear. Okay, first way. Just get it situated. And you step through. Boom. And then you buckle and you pull tight. That's pretty much it. And then I'll uh, pull this tight and wrap it up. And then here's over the headway. Over the headway. I'm not quite as good with this way yet. Gotta get practice in. You're gonna come over with your strap through here. You're gonna come over here and get the strap. Where you at, strap? It's over here somewhere. Oh, he was behind my back. See, this is why I like to step through. It's just a little easier to me, but some of these guys I've seen do this way, dude, they got it. They got it down to like an arc. And they make it look smooth so it does take practice i tell you that right now but this goes here and then you're gonna get this strap through here it is a little harder with gear on this way I think your gear wants to kind of fold over hang but then you can just 
I made that look it's so much more complicated than it is. I watch guys do that and they slide it over, but they don't have the gear bags on, so that might be key. If you don't have gear bags, maybe over the shoulders a lot easier too. And uh, but I like my gear bags and I like to step through it. But maybe over the shoulder is an idea that no one's none of you guys have seen before and trigger something and you guys like that way better. So I hope that helps you guys out too as an extra little tip. So uh forgot to announce what the giveaway was at the end of the video. The giveaway is a Buzzaroo saddle. And uh, just follow the link below. There's multiple ways to enter and extra chances to for entries. And, uh, and I will post a picture of when it will end. Good luck to everybody out there. And if you are the winner, I'm gonna send you an email and I'll ask you your information and your size that you want. They have three sizes, so make sure you go to their website and you check out their the details. Um, a lar they have large, regular, and small. So if you have a kid that needs one, they have that small is gonna be perfect, or a wife that needs one, small is gonna be perfect. If you're a bigger kind of guy like me, like I'm right on the edge. Um, the regular goes up to 36, and then the, the large goes 36 up to, I can't remember what size, but I'm right on the edge, I'm a 36 waist. I have a regular, because I'm in Florida, I'm not gonna put on like a ton of extra clothes to, because uh, it doesn't get super, super cold here. But if you're up north, you might, if you're a 36, you might wanna go to the large. That's just an extra little tip at the end of this video. Good luck to everybody, and we'll see you next time.